Hello everyone, everyone. We're, we're Moss Charlie. Charlie. One of the most important tools of good line art is the pen you use. And we're going to show you how to make a G pen and a Maru pen, super fast and easy in the Krita brush engine. The pens we are going to make well, they're a bit of a standard in the traditional comic and manga creating world, so. <laughs> okay, a G pen is a quill pen nib. It's kind of the do-it-all pen nib. Uh, its line thickness varies quite a bit from thick to thin, so its variation is super important for creating the illusion of depth and shadow in your line work. A Maru pen is a pen nib as well, but it is a lot more forgiving than the G pen. Its lines aren't varying as much in their thickness, so they're not as extreme as a G pen, but it will get the job done for sure. Yeah, it's a great pen for beginners. It's really mm -hmm. good. Okay, let's get right to making the G pen. Okay, first make sure your brush preset stalker is visible. Ours is in here, uh, but if, if not, uh, go to settings. We're going to show you how to make sure, so go to settings. Go down to dockers and then you will go down and see and make sure brush presets is checked. And while you're there, you wanna go all the way down and make sure tool options is checked as well. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Which we got. Okay. Okay, so now in the brush preset docker on the pull down menu at the top, which is right here. <laughs> go to paint. Go to paint. So we're gonna go click mm -hmm. it and we're going to go to paint. There you go. It's kind of weird to make an ink pen from a painting brush, but this is the fastest way to create a full featured ink pen for line work. Mm -hmm. So so here we're going to click the third mm -hmm. brush. You can either hover over it or right click and it will give you its name. And this one is, this one is the Bristles One Details. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you want to select that. And yeah. then you want to go up to the task bar right next to the foreground color picker is a little squiggly line with three lowercase eyes laying on their side. This is the edit brush settings menu. So you want to open that up. There we go. Right? Yes. So this, this menu will look very overwhelming. You're not alone. We're going to walk you through this and it will all end up really good. So just follow along with us and you'll have a brush going. Yeah. On the left column at the top, there's the word general. That's the general menu, menu settings. You can actually select that setting and it will collapse or open up. And this is where we're going to actually be doing all of our changes in this menu. So you're gonna wanna go and to brush tip, which is right below general. There we go, awesome. Um, and to the right of it is the word auto. You're gonna select that, there you go. Um, now the next thing we're gonna change is the diameter. You can go to these arrows on the far right and click them to bring it up to 20 pixels. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> now at the bottom is the word spacings. You're gonna select or you know check that auto box and it'll bring it to 1.00. There you go. That's good. Awesome. So now on the back to the general mm -hmm. little part mm -hmm. here, um, we're going to go to opacity. Mm -hmm and make sure enable pen settings is off or unchecked. So that, that it is. <laughs> and its strength is set to 100. Yes. Just to make sure, right? Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. now we're going to go to flow, which is right below opacity, mm -hmm. right down to that general menu. And that's unchecked as well, which is good. Yes. But we're gonna change the strength at the top from 40% to 100%. We're gonna do this by just uh, either using the these little menu things, there are the little arrows here, but we want to make it faster, so we're just going to drag it all the way over. All the way. <laughs> there you go. And now we're going to go into the size menu, which is right below flow. So you select that, and there we go. This is where all the magic happens. So, <laughs> so there is a check next to enable pen settings, mm -hmm. uh, and that's good. So we're going to actually keep that like that. So, <laughs> and the strength is set to 100. Yeah, we're going to make sure the strength is set to 100. Now, ab above the big box with the wavy line, uh, you're going to see all these little symbols here. And you're gonna click the third one. Mm -hmm. and there you go. Now you're gonna go down to the far node at the bottom Absolutely. left of there. that, right? And yeah. you're gonna select it. And once it's selected, you're gonna go over to the little box to the right of the this big box, and you're gonna put in 15. 
So you can type that in or use those little arrows to go up. We're gonna type, type. it in. <laughs> there we go. Now you gotta select the second node, um, which is the one that's furthest down. Right? right here. There we go. And you're gonna go back to that same box you changed. It says 10% now, but you're gonna change that to 40%. All right, 40%. Awesome. There are two other nodes in this box. You don't have to change those at all. Those are exactly where they need to be. Yeah. So there we go. Um, we're gonna go back to the general menus, you know, Here on the go. left. And we're gonna go all the way down to strength, which is right down there. It's got a check next to it, right? Yes. And we're gonna see that, but we're gonna actually uncheck this. So you wanna turn that check off. So we're gonna right turn there. that setting off. There we go. Okay. Now, right? Uh, yeah, now a little further down on the list is the word opacity, right mm -hmm. here. There we go. So open up that uh, that setting and uncheck the enable pen settings. Awesome. So make sure that's unchecked. Now we're gonna go down to flow, which is right below it, right? Yeah. It's the one right below. Right here. Perfect. Now we're gonna actually uncheck this one as well, right? The enable pen settings. There we go. Boom. Okay, now you've created a G Pen, <laughs> but <laughs> you have to save it, right? Yes. So you're gonna go up to the far right. It says save new brush preset. You do not want to press overwrite brush preset. Okay. No, don't you press don't this. Press, that. press the one on top. Yeah, save new brush top. preset. There we go. Awesome. So now here, here's where we're going to name the new brush. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We call it MC. Dash G dash pen. There we go. Nice. So we know it's a Monster Army G pen. And now here we want to change the uh, the icon. So we're going to go uh, from this list and we're going to click load from icon library. Mm -hmm. So we're going to click that and it will give us this cool thing where we'll get to choose our tool image. Yeah. So for our icon. It's quite cool. So there's a lot to choose from, but we're going to choose this, this really cool. Uh, a quill pen right yeah. there and right in color adjustments you'll see a thing that says hue and here's where you could actually change the color of the pen so you can make it any color you really want mm -hmm. so we're going to just make it this fun green and you could uh, have an emblem icon on it but we're going to just keep it blank these are really cool though <laughs> yeah. so they're really like cool yeah, yeah you exactly. can make really fun things with that mm -hmm. so that's really neat so mm -hmm. then just press ok when you got it to how you like it Mm -hmm. And then in this thumbnail, it right above it, it says paint in this area. This is you, where you can use your stylus to create an example of the pen and stroke in. So you can actually write in this little box. Yeah, this is you know? cool. Yeah, you can like give it little squigglies, whatever. Anything that will allow you to know that it's the pen you created. And now that you're happy, you know, you can press save. There we go. You just made it. You just made it, right? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Okay, now it's time to make the Maru pen. And how we're going to do this is by altering the G pen, which is going to make it really, really fast. Yes. <laughs> okay, so in order to find the G pen you just made, uh, at the foot of the... Um, the brush preset dock, yes. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's got a little There's a search, search bar. bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna just type in, we're gonna start typing in the name of the brush we just made, and it will pop up. So you just make sure that is selected. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go up to that little squiggly line with the lowercase i's on their side. Go Open to that up. Edit brush settings. And you're going to go in the general settings because it's where we left off last. But yeah. you're going to go up to uh, size, which is that one right there. There you go. And this is where we're going to change things for the Maru pen. Um, now, in this uh, waveform box that we created for the actual brush stroke, the symbols above that box, you're going to actually select the first one, which is that angle. Right here. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, there you go. We got that. <laughs> now you're going to see it go from zero to a hundred percent. So we're going to start by changing these up. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to select that first node, right? On the gonna, bottom. Yeah. yeah. Right? And you're going to bring that up to 10. So you can actually type that in if you want 10%, which is easier to do. Right? Or you could use those little clicky arrows. Yeah. Right? There you go. Perfect. Now you're going to select the second node and you're going to actually type in 50. So you're going to change that to 50%. Right? Yes. There we go. Okay. Now you're done. 
actually. You just, you you just, just made, made it. it. <laughs> that was fast. But you have to save it. Yes. So go to Save New Brush Presets. Okay. And you're going to name it because you have to rename it, right? Yes. To a new name. And we're going to call this MC Dash Maru, right? Pen. Maru Pen. Go and we're going to also delete the copy. copy. There we go, right? Yeah. Oh, we're going to give it a new icon as well. Yeah. So, so we we're going to know go the difference. Back from load from icon library. Mm hmm. Scroll down a little bit, find a little pen you like. Oh, I like this blue one. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can change the color to whatever you feel is comfortable. Oh, this is nice. That's nice. This I like nice. it. There you go. All right. Once you're happy, press OK. And remember that in this box, you can create an example of that pen stroke you created. So this nice. one's a lot thinner and it's a lot more forgiving. There <laughs> you go. See? Perfect. Nice. And now that you're good, you save it, right? Right. Now, in your brush presets, you're going to see both of them right there yeah right now the one that's selected is the g pen you created mm -hmm. you need to use your right mouse button when you're selecting it and you want to assign it to a new tag we put ours in my favorites so you can assign it to a new tag there you go select it and do the same to the maru pen assign it to a new tag and bring it all the way down to my favorites now when you go up into the brush presets there are, you know there are actual groupings you and you go, go to all, favorites yep they're going to be there, are. right there. <laughs> awesome. Um, we did want to talk a little bit about stabilization with these pens. And we actually recommend um, keeping the brush smoothing to basic or stabilizer. Uh, and that's right down here in the tool options docker. So yeah. you'll see brush smoothing mm -hmm. and you'll see stabilizer here and uh, weighted and basic. So mm -hmm. basic and stabilizer. Exactly. If you click basic, select basic, it doesn't have any settings. Yeah. It's, it's ultra basic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, obviously. Here if you go, go to stabilizer. stabilizer, this is where you can change some of the settings. Yeah. Right? And we actually have our sample count set at 35 or 40. And right now it's at 40. Yeah? Yeah. Um, and the delay is at zero pixels. So it's happening almost right away. Now these are settings that will affect any other brush you use. So if you go to use a paintbrush, you have to turn these this brush smoothing off if you don't want it to affect a paintbrush or an airbrush or anything like that. So just keep that in mind, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so these pens may be, you know, something new and challenging to, to use at first, but you know, you will master them just the more you practice and the, mm. make the magic happen. <laughs> yeah. We hope this helps everyone out. And as a prize for anyone who's gotten this far <laughs> in the video, you can find these brushes in our Gumroad page for free. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. Um, this ends, you know. Part one, part one <laughs> of, of our Krita Line Art <laughs> video. Yeah. Uh, the next video we are, will be about page size and some time saving tips for line art. Um, with that video, we will put some study sheets out for everyone to try out as well. So. <laughs> yeah. See you soon. Definitely. Must try me out. out.